In this video, you will learn 11 plus HCF. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Before we start the questions, let's have a look at what HCF is. So HCF stands for the highest common factor. First, let's see what a factor is. A factor is a number that divides exactly into another number without leaving any remainders. So let's have a look at an example, which is what are the factors for eight? So the factors of a number always start with one and end with the same number. So let's have a look at this, which is eight. We said that the factors of a number always start with one. So we can straight away write a one down. Now, next, we're going to see whether two goes into eight. Yes, it does. Let's move on to three. Does three go into eight exactly without leaving any remainders at all? No, it does not. So we're going to move on to four. Does four go into eight exactly? Yes, it does. So we can write the four. Does five, six, and seven, do they go into eight exactly? No, they do not. So we're now we're at eight. As we said before, that factors of a number always start with one and end with the same number. So this means we're going to write this eight to finish our factors off. So 4 and 8. So the factors of 8 is 1, 2, 4, 8. Since you guys now know what HCF is and what is factors, now let's move on to the questions. Let's have a look at this example. And the example we have is what is the HCF for 12 and 16? We're going to solve this out using the manual method. So as we saw before, HCF stands for the highest common factor. So with that, we're going to first find the factors for 12 and 16. So this is the first thing we're going to do. The factors of a number are anything that goes into a number exactly without leaving any remainders at all. So let's write the factors for 12 first, which are 1. 1 goes into 12. 2 goes into 12. 3 does. 4 goes into 12. And so does 6. 5 does not. And then 12 goes into 12. So the factors for 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Now, let's find the factors for 16. The factors for 16 start with 1, and then we're going to go on to 2. 3 does not go into 12. 4 does. 5 does not. 6 does not. 7, nope. 8, yes, it does. And then all the way to 16. 9 does in 10, does in 11, does in 12, does in 13, nope. 14, nope. 15, nope. So 16, yes, it does. Go with 16. So these are our factors for both 12 and 16. Now, we have found the factor. We're going to move on to the common factors. So we're going to circle the ones that are in common. So one is in common between both of them. Two is in common. And then also four is in common. So these are the common ones between 12 and 16. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to find the highest number out of these three numbers, so out of one, two, and four which one of these is the highest, and it's obviously 4. So this means our HCF for this question is none other than 4. I hope you guys understood everything. Let's have a look at this example. And the example we have right here is what is the HCF for 140, 84, and 56? We're going to solve this question now using the division ladder. So let's start by writing these numbers down. So let's write 140. And then 84 and finally 56. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to draw a division ladder. Once we've done that, we're going to find the common factor between these three numbers. The common factor between these three numbers is 2 because 2 goes into 140 70 times, 2 goes into 84 42 times and 2 goes into 56 28 times. Now, let's do the same thing once again, because we can find common factors between 70, 42, and 28. The common factor this time is 7. 7 goes to the 70, 10 times. 7 goes to the 42, 6 times. And 7 goes into 28, 4 times. We can still find common factors between these three numbers, 10, 6, and 4. The common factor is 2, because 2 goes into 10, 5 times. 2 goes into 6 3 times, and 2 goes into 4 2 times. So we cannot find a common factor anymore, 
So we're going to stop right here. Now, to find the highest common factor, we'll have to multiply the numbers on the left-hand side. So we'll have to multiply the 2, the 7, and the 2. So we basically have to do 2 times 7, and then we'll have to do times by 2. 2 times 7 is 14, 14 times 2 is 28. So our HCF for this question is 28. I hope you guys understood everything so far. Now, let's go on to the next one. Let's have a look at this example. And the example we have right here is what is the HCF for 72, 96 and 144? We're going to solve this question now using the division ladder. So first thing, we're going to write these numbers down. So 72 and then 96 and 144. Next, we're going to draw the division ladder. After drawing the division ladder, we're going to find the common factors for 72, 96 and 144. A common factor for all three of them is obviously 2. So 2 goes into 72 36 times, 2 goes into 96 48 times, and 2 goes into 144 72 times. Next, we're going to find is there any common factors between 36, 48 and 72. Yes, there is. A common factor for all three of them is 3. So once again, draw the division ladder, and then we can write 3. 3 goes into 36. 12 times, 3 goes into 48, 16 times, and 3 goes into 72, 24 times. Can we find a common factor between these three numbers? Yes, we can. A common factor is obviously 4. So draw the division ladder, and then we can write 4. 4 goes into 12, 3 times, 4 goes into 16, 4 times, and 4 goes into 24, 6 times. We can't find a common factor between 3, 4, and 6 anymore. So we're going to stop right here, and we're going to multiply 2, 3, and 4 to get the HCF. So 2 times 3 times 4. So 2 times 3 is going to give you 6. 6 times 4 is going to give you 24. So our answer to this question is 24. Now to learn more on 11 plus maps, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe to my channel, I'll see you next time.